Welcome back to The Daily Dean. So let me weave you a tale of woe as I readjust my phone, anger, and frustration, all starting with what the title of this video is, the worst crash of my lifetime. Kind of clickbaity, but that is no understatement. So if you have a Windows computer, you probably experienced a blue screen. If you don't, or you haven't experienced a blue screen, thankfully, it's just an error code, an error screen that says, hey, your computer crashed, we're gathering, we're gathering some data. This is the error code. Critical stop error occurred. Something like that, right? And the first step in order to solve a blue screen is look up that error code. Because my computer was in some kind of feedback loop again and again, giving me blue screen after blue screen, error message after error message, all with the same code, critical error. I have no idea what that meant, but people online on forums basically told you to use the settings at your disposal, the little, op little options that they give you. Because after a while, Windows recognizes, hey, it looks like you're in kind of a loop. Would you like me to give you some options to try and fix that? And of course, you know, these options are kind of, <laughs> they're kind of BS, <laughs> if I'm being honest. The, first, the, the ones you need to know are reset this PC, which deletes everything on your computer, or um, you can choose to save some of the things on your computer, like personal files, like documents, videos, um, whatever, or command prompt. Command prompt is this lovely, if I can get to the tab that has the image, is this lovely little screen that shows up on your Windows computer that is black with white text and you can type in stuff and press enter and it'll give you, it, it'll run that command in the, 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 the system and it'll do whatever it asks you to. Because in the end, that's all that's happening under the surface of a computer. Command after command, you know, beep bop after beep boop, so on and so forth. And... The first couple solutions was basically typing in commands like FSC, check now, or disk part, whatever those means. And if you ask me, I wouldn't know because all I'm doing is following the guidance of, you know, our forum overlords. Because these people know far more than me. Uh, except for the fact, this these solutions, despite them saying, yeah, this should solve 90% of problems if you just type in this command and run it into command prompt, it didn't work, and apparently I was in the 10% of, of, of blue screen crashes, because even after typing in those commands, even after restarting, even after turning on and off again, uh, even after, you know, trying to reset, nothing would work. And when I say reset, I literally mean I tried deleting everything off my computer using this message. Everything including my documents, my videos, windows, pictures, music, games, apps, all of it. But you know what it gave me? This beautiful screen that says, there's a problem resetting your PC. Well, gosh darn it. How are you supposed to delete anything that is causing your issue if you can't even reset your PC, right? If the problem is happening inside of the files, not being able to, you know, delete it is kind of counter, it's not gonna work. So my computer, which wouldn't let me do anything from the screen itself, meant that I was completely, you know, bent over. How was I supposed to fix it if I couldn't even delete anything? But luckily, Command Prompt has some interesting workarounds. <laughs> if you have the combination of luck and sheer willpower that I plowed through all of these pages for six hours for, trying to find some solution. Now, Command Prompt, basically is again all through text except for when you're opening up some apps you can open up notepad which is this little text processing app that will show you you know whatever you type into your keyboard but you can save whatever you type into your keyboard as a text you know file and if you can save it as a text file you can also navigate where to put that text file in your computer now what's interesting about that is if you can navigate where to put it, you can navigate all of your files because all the files are stored in the storage. If you're saving a text file into the storage, you're going to be able to view the adjacent files and all the folders next to it when you save it. So basically, you could theoretically use Notepad to download and back up all of your documents and then completely wipe out your computer. But again, I couldn't. 
Notepad wasn't working. Notepad, as funnily as it sounds, I couldn't use to save my computer. And eventually, I found this amazing solution. Oh, completely on my own, by the way. This was combining two separate things. That notepad part and something called partitions in your storage drive. So if you ask me what partition meant by definition, I couldn't tell you. But as far as I'm aware from the context, a partition is a separate part of your storage that won't interact with other partitions. Okay? Now, see where this is going. If we can separate one partition into two, then we can download Windows again into that empty partition and use File Explorer to look at the original files in our original computer. What this basically means is that you can run two computers, two operating systems inside of one storage drive, inside of one PC. This is beautiful in that you will be able to look at all of your files that I wouldn't otherwise be able to access just by using Windows alone, just by using what's given to you in a separate partition. If I lost you there, no worries. It, it doesn't really matter because in the end, I'm able to, once again, put two computers into one and use the second computer, which is totally perfectly fine. It's empty. There's no, there's no wrong updates, malware, viruses, whatever, that's causing this problem that's resetting my computer over and over again. So I can use the healthy computer to back up all the files in the broken computer and save everything. And then once I have everything saved, I can delete the broken computer and rebuild it with a new operating system and then move back the safe computer files to my new computer and then recombine the storage space so that now everything is just like how I left it. So if I lost you there after that grand finale, uh, I hope you enjoyed my little rant and my enter entertaining parts. Once again, I'm not an IT specialist, nor am I a Windows guru, so if you ask me what any of this meant, disk parts, partitions, storage drive, I couldn't tell you the specifics. But, um, combining everything I know, I hope this was entertaining, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and goodbye.